everything they see, I think, how can I do this in class? Everything is in there. All the stress can be in there. Love is in there. Power. My name is Norbert Sattler and I'm a Kunstklaser. Maybe the column over here, stained glass craftsman. Class likes me because it does what I want. A lot of artists say it is all eh, stained glass. Yeah, 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 I saw stained glass. I don't like stained glass. 19th century bullshit. I saw it all. Bad stuff. See, I'm sometimes blind. They don't see. They're not free in the head. A lot of them. Stained glass can be modern, new, beautiful. I want to have stained glass accepted for modern art. That is enough. I'm not an artist. I have to say this from my own experience. When I was young, I made some pieces, and I think it was art, and then you put the scarf around your neck, the head on, and then, hey, I am an artist. That's bullshit. It's very important to see a work that is really art and say, no, I will never ever reach it. So, I will help the artist to develop the artwork. I have been working with artists for over 40 years. I go to a gallery and when I see a work related to my class work, I will invite the artist over here to use class. Sue Obata is from Toronto. She is great in painting. When you work with outsiders, you get a much better result because it's an artist. They see this medium different. <laughs> to understand artists is not so easy. You have to stick with them. To keep them comfortable in your studio. Wine helps. So. You have to offer your artists the best material to experiment with. I will not say that I have the best class, but I have the best of the best. I have 800 colors in stock. Each color has a certain feeling. You have to find out how the artist sees the color. When you have this same mind, then you can work on this window. The artist has full control over this window. We have to fight in some spots, but I serve the artist. When the artist says, that is not right, I take it out and smash it. I think it has to do something really with your ego. A lot of people have to learn to work for other people. The hardest thing is when an artist comes up with this free idea, it's my problem to bring it in reality. I want to make the highest quality and it hurts. You have too many options. Painting, etch, you can sunblast, everything is possible. So never say not possible.
even when it's complicated. I don't mind. When somebody comes up with a crazy idea, I do it. Or I try to do it. <laughs> Sometimes I have to cut a piece hundred times. Shit. I never ever see the designer sees the finished window in my head. Oh, I can do it. My father was smart. In a way of life, of simple. He was saying to me, do things with love. When I'm in the studio, sometimes you don't get me out. So it's a kind of meditation. When the work is boring, you learn the lines. And you were thinking, what is behind this prep wall? And when you got it, it opens up a world and you understand this whole complexity. And when it is not right, work on it, work on it, work on it, do it, make it right. That is love, and you have to go through it. You have to love your work, and when you don't love it, don't do it. And when somebody says, nobody can do this, then I say, hey, my name is nobody. I'm not an artist, I'm a craftsman. I do what the artist sometimes cannot do. When you're an artist, that is good for everybody. But when you're not, let it go, please. I will never be rich, but I'm rich of sharing things with good people. I'm not special, I'm the same as the other person cleans the road and he does his job good. I do my job good too.